Okay, so this is my nearly perfect copy of the famous brand from Norfolk. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are doing something which is a nearly an exact direct copy of the very famous mint sauce made in Norwich. Now all the copycat recipes on the internet are a load of tosh. And I'll say that again, they're a load of tosh. They're all sugar and vinegar and some mint boiled up or mixed up and that's it. But you know, if you read the back of the label, the label has got exanthem gum, glucose syrup, sugar, vinegars, mint, 25% mint. So all the recipes on the internet are nowhere near this recipe I'm going to show you now. I've just been working on this recipe for about 25 minutes and I've got nearly an exact copy of the famous mint sauce from Norwich. Now I'm not using fresh mint, I'll give the weights and measures in the description and we'll talk about it as we go along. I'm using dried mint leaves. Now if I was using fresh leaves it's four times the amount of using dried leaves. So it's just easier to make it with dried leaves for me here. So let's crack on and show you how to make an exact copy of this world famous mint sauce from Norwich. Let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a couple of jars and this is the real McCoy. This is the real McCoy there. These are my version, my copy. Now, like I say, I'm using dried mint leaves. If you're using fresh mint leaves, you would have to use four times the amount of this. Okay, so I've worked this out and we'll do it all on the scales so you can see. Except I'm the wrong way around. Okay, 140 milliliters of water. Oh, try reading this upside down. To that, we're gonna add two types of vinegar. We're gonna add apple cider vinegar and we're gonna add white vinegar. Let's hit the button. Okay, we want 80 milliliters of apple cider vinegar. Near enough, and we want 80 milliliters of white vinegar. Oh, we're going over. Let's just take a little bit of that out of there. There we go. And we want about two and a half grams of salt. want 50 grams of sugar and here's one of the ingredients which is listed on the back of the label not one video on the internet carries this ingredient it's glucose syrup and we want about 20 grams just over it's a heaped tablespoon anyway now this is one heck of a sticky thing I'm not gonna lie so we need to get that Glucose syrup out of that spoon. Oh, gooey. Now, an ingredient which is listed, exanthem gum, and everybody seems to be frightened to use it. Now, you only use about 0.3% to 1% of your fluid. So in our case here, we're going to use just over a quarter of a teaspoon of, the, of exanthem gum in our mixture. Now, you can go up to about a half a teaspoon, but it's going to be a thick sauce. Okay, in with some green food dye. Now, I'm using green food dye because I'm using dried mint. The dried mint is already a brown colour, so we need to be putting in some green colour. To bring it back a bit, it just make it look more um, respectable in the jar, if you like. We don't want to have a jar of brown 
gunge even though we know it's mint sauce it'd be better to actually look green now there's 30 grams of mint leaves and all we're going to do is we're going to mix that in don't worry about the color green because look at these these are brown and with using dried mint what we have to do we have to mix it all up put it in a jar and leave it for a couple of days and it, the leaves will rehydrate in the mixture and we'll end up with a really nice Norfolk coffee mint sauce okay so this is my nearly perfect copy of the famous brand from Norfolk so there we are a virtual copy of the famous sauce from Norwich and this is a real perfect copy of that sauce none of the garden mint mixed with sugar and vinegar this has got all the ingredients in that jar virtually the same amounts as the label so you're going to say to me what does it taste like there we are this is the original jar The original jar, I won't lie, is more sour than the one we've made. Which one do I prefer? Yes, I do. I prefer our one. Our one. Look at it. It's got that fantastic mouthfeel. That's the exanthem gum. That is cracking. I'm going to have to go find another jar. We've run out of jars. I hope you like what we're doing. If you do, smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends, all that kind of stuff leave it alone for two days the dried leaves will rehydrate in there fresh leaves you can eat straight away that's it job done catch you in the next video